so pretty. So we're on our first evening walk. Got here a couple hours ago, got settled in. And as usual, we left the road and decided to follow this little creek wash because it's at least generally going in the right direction to head us back to the road, I hope. All right, so we are finishing up our uh, evening walk. And I'm about to head back into camp here real quick where, of course, it will be time for happy hour and some charcuterie. So it's absolutely beautiful out here. it's a little past six and the evening is upon us afternoon is wrapping up and smoked trout and Mickey has made some smoked trout yum delicious and old fashions so uh, one of the best parts of camping is just enjoying the relaxation cheers and it promises to be an absolutely beautiful sunset this evening not too windy it's few gusts, but it's mostly still. And we're hoping it just continues to get still in the evening. So it's all quiet. We're virtually alone here. So this is very nice. All right, tonight we're keeping it pretty easy. We're going with a traditional camping fare. We're gonna, gonna grill some broth. So I've got the uh, grill heating up here. And, and Michelle, what are you making to go with the broth, son? Michelle is making... Mexican style roasted yep. corn with cotija cheese from Trader Joe's. Right, so a little Mexican corn to go with our broths. Again, nothing elaborate tonight, but uh, just simple and delicious. Gorgeous night. Really nice. Alright, these babies are looking good. Yep. We're going to go fireside dining tonight. And dinner is served. How's it look? Looks good. All right, good morning, and it is Saturday morning. It's absolutely beautiful out here in the desert. Birds are chirping, weather's perfect, it's still. Uh, so as is our tradition, we have made our coffee and we're gonna begin our morning coffee walk. Just everything is so green right now. It's like walking through a native plant garden.
All right, we are on the summit of this ridge line. We're looking the entire valley. Again, we came up that finger and then followed the ridge line summit all the way up into here. It's just a beautiful view of the valley. After our coffee walk, we relaxed and camped for a bit, and then we decided in the afternoon that we wanted to try and hike the Marshall South Trail. Fortunately for us, the trailhead was only about a mile away from camp, so we took off. So here we are, and this is just an absolute great way to spend a Saturday afternoon uh, enjoying the great outdoors out here. Look at the view in the distance. It's quite a healthy little hike, uh, not long, but uh, very chunky and rocky in spots with a lot of kind of step up climb. So get your heart rate going. And then the uh, house, in fact, you can almost see part of the structure up there now is on top of that hilltop. So we're going to continue, and it looks like we got a zigzag climb here. How are you doing, sweetie? <laughs> Tired. We have arrived at the ruins of the Marshall House. Wow. And all the materials and everything brought up here for this. It's pretty wild. Alright, we made it to the top up at the Marshall ruins of the Marshall House. Pretty amazing when you think not only did you have to climb this, but brought a lot of these supplies and moved his family up here and lived up here year round. So, um, crazy, possibly, <laughs> but something else. But uh, we're rewarded with beautiful views. What'd you think, Mickey? That's really pretty up here. It's amazing how far you can see. Yeah. Yeah, it's just absolutely amazing. We picked a great day to be up here. It's a little bit breezy, so the heat isn't too bad. Uh, it's about five o'clock, so in the afternoon, so we've got a couple hours of daylight to get back to camp. This is great. Thought it might be fun to see how Michelle, the master mixologist, makes our old fashions in the campsite. So Michelle, what are you doing here? A little maple syrup.
and a little buffalo trace. Buffalo trace, all right. Which we have found to be a very, very good bourbon for old fashions. Is our fire going to explode? Uh, it sounds like our solo stove is about to explode. And then I have some orange bitters. All right. And you got a dropper to do that, right? Yeah. And some vanilla, no, cherry bark vanilla. Oh, so a secret ingredient. And then the cherries from Trader Joe's, the good cherries. So really good cherries. Some ice cubes. doing this right now. Huh? How much I can eke out on this one. <laughs> Squeeze it to get the oils out. There we go. That is it. Fantastic, Michelle. Thanks. Can't wait. Cheers. Cheers. As always, our trip came to an end far too quickly. But even with three days and two nights, we both felt totally relaxed at the end of this little excursion. There is just something very special about the desert that's hard to put into words. While it's critical that you always respect its ruggedness, and as long as you do, the desert will always share its beauty with you at every turn. Michelle and I hope that you have enjoyed sharing our journey with us and that we've given you a glimpse into the desert and perhaps inspire you to go out and explore on your own. It's an incredible place and thank you for watching. <laughs>